So, where do I start this video? I invited my friends out to come on the ice with me, help me film some content for you guys. And my friend asked me what he was actually going to be doing. I didn't really tell him until we were there in the locker room, we're getting on the ice. And I told him, okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a bunch of pucks, you're gonna line up about the hash mark area, and you're gonna shoot at my head. You should have gone for the head. And his response was, that is not what I thought I was going to be doing today. And don't worry, I have a logical uh, reason. I did it for science. Not really. I did it to test out this mask sent to me by Victory Helmets. So the inspiration came from this video. So have you ever seen this before? Hopefully you just saw a video of a goalie making saves with his head. But if not, because I couldn't find the video or it was too lazy to go on Instagram and try to find it, I'll tell you what it actually was about. Basically it was a quick uh, Instagram video and it's just this goalie warming up. And instead of doing a traditional warm up where you're just taking shots to warm up your hands or your legs, or he was taking shots at his head. His coach was shooting purposely in this area and he was deflecting the pucks with his helmet. Now most goalers are like, why would you do that? And I thought the same thing. When I was sent this mask by uh, Victory Helmets, I thought, what's a better way to test this mask than to doing exactly that, just taking pucks to the head? And the reason specifically I wanna do this is because they've told me that this mask is a very solid mask. It's a full polycarbonate mask. It's a pretty considerably thick layer of polycarbonate. And it's also some ABS rubber from what I've gathered from my research on the mask. And it felt like a pretty good mask but being that there was no carbon fiber, no Kevlar, uh, I sent them a quick message and I said, hey, just wanted to make sure that this mask is good for higher level play because there is no Kevlar in it. And they told me it's a tank, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Take some good shots, you're not gonna get any ear ringing, uh, you'll be fine. So I thought I would test that out and I had my friend shoot pucks at me in the head. And here's the clips from that on the ice. So as you can see, I have a couple of marks here. Got a mark on the cage right here, marks up here. Got a good amount. There's at least five to 10 puck marks on the mask. Um, some of them have gone away just because uh, it's been a couple days since I actually did that video and being on the ice a couple more times, uh, the water kind of washed them away. But as you saw in the video, I got hit a good amount of times. And did I feel protected is the main question. And yeah, I felt fine. Uh, did any of them hurt? No. Any ear ringing? No. So yeah, I did that whole experiment just to test out this mask and see if it was a good fit, see if it was protective and see if it lived up to the hype that they had told me about and was it a quote unquote tank. And, and you know, it's a pretty good mask. I didn't feel anything when I was getting pucks. Obviously, I told my teammate like, yo, don't kill me. I mean, but he wasn't chipping the pucks either. He was given a good amount of power in there just to test out what it feels like to get hit with the mask. And to be honest, you know, if you got hit in the head, I felt fine. Uh, next puck, I was ready for the next puck. No problems, no ear ringing. And I felt very, very confident uh, with the mask on that. After using it, after getting hit a couple times, I felt perfectly confident I was, that getting hit in the head wasn't gonna be a problem. I also tested this out a little bit because I had this neck guard on. So when my uh, friend would miss and hit me down here, uh, I got to test that out a little bit. Um, again, I didn't get hit in the neck guard area terribly much, but when the times that I did, I noticed no pain, no discomfort. Obviously, you know that it hits you, but this had a very solid performance as well. I will have a review on that neck guard by itself later. So would I recommend this mask to you guys? Yes, I mean, it's a very solid mask from what, what I've tested this. I'll probably do another follow-up video review as well, because obviously I haven't had this for very long amount of time, 
I'm just gonna make another follow-up video and I can tell you how it's lasted through some more shots, how it's lasted as far as durability goes, and any other questions that you might have. So what do you guys think about my review of this mask? What do you guys think about uh, the way I tested it out? Um, are, you gonna, are you yourself considering getting a Victory Helmet mask? I wanna know all your thoughts in the comments below. It could be about anything. Just write down a comment of anything you're thinking about right now. Go check out Victory Helmets uh, website and all their social media stuff. I'll have that linked in the description below. And go check out tinylifehockey.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go click on another video either up here or down here or somewhere in this general area. And I'll see you guys in the next video.